All right, so once you've answered all those questions about who your child is and what you want from a school, you'll have shortlisted down quite a long way. And now I would suggest that you look at the websites of your shortlist um, and also look at the inspection reports. So every independent school, every boarding school in the UK is inspected by the ISI, which stands for the Independent Schools Inspectorate. And you can look on the website and see the school's inspection report. There is also word of mouth, talking to other parents about their experiences um, and talking to students who have been to the school, as we're going to hear from Marcus later. Then you will need to consider EAL uh, support. This EAL stands for English as an Additional Language. Um, and however good your child's English is, he's likely to need some help with his academic English, such as writing essays, writing summaries of information, taking notes. So a good idea to look at the school's EAL support uh, and see what it's like. And also the other support, because your child will be learning new subjects or even the subjects they've already learned at school, they are taught differently in different countries. So you need to find a school that will help your child to integrate um, academically and pastorally, you know, and really support their psychological adaptation. Um, you might want to look at sport provision. Um, it's a very specific issue, but it's an example of the specific issues you'll have for your individual child. So if your child doesn't really love team sports uh, and isn't going to particularly enjoy rugby and cricket and hockey and netball, which are traditional British sports, what else is that school going to offer for your child? So at this point, we're down to very specific issues. And it's at this point where I feel that I learn as advice as a BSA certified agent who knows the different schools is going to be really valuable to you. Okay, next slide, please. Now, obviously at the moment, it's not possible to go and visit schools in person, but uh, you should be able to visit schools online with your child. I mean, nothing takes the place of a personal visit and hopefully soon that will be possible again. But for now, most schools are doing excellent virtual tours. And in many ways, the move online has been one of the benefits that has come out of the coronavirus situation. So maybe keep your shortlist quite short and online visit just three or four schools so that you don't become confused. But some of the things that I think you need to check at this point are um, the personality of the headmaster or the headmistress, because actually the ethos of the school all starts with them. They set the tone, which informs the whole school. If you like him or you like her, then you'll probably be happy with the school. What kind of welcome do you get? Are they, are they welcoming and friendly? Do they give you plenty of time and really seem proud of the school? You should be able to see the facilities both on a, on a virtual tour and obviously through the website. Um, these are important, but they're not the most important thing. You, you, you can live without a, an Olympic sized swimming pool or a state of the art theater, which your child may never even use. So I just say to you at that point, maybe don't get overly impressed, overly hung up on those facilities. Um, food, on the other hand, I think that we don't really necessarily take that seriously enough. It's more important than you might think when you actually live somewhere that the food has a you know, good range and you, know, you can eat as much as you want. Th those, th those things might seem not important, but maybe they are when you're living there. Um, you can usually see a recorded lesson, even though you can't go there in person. So you can get an idea of the lesson and the, the atmosphere. You know, is it the right atmosphere in the classroom for your child to learn well? And will he cope with it linguistically and academically? Um, and then I feel even online, you, you do get a good feel of a school and, and your, your instinct will tell you a lot at this stage and you'll feel as much as see things. And then what I mean by the wow factor is all those extras like famous visiting speakers and exciting trips and, and the things that, that you would love to be able to do yourself if you were going to school yourself. Uh, and 
as I said, this is where um, having a good consultant or a good agent comes in. So obviously, they, the, the parents can ask you as I learner to help them. Um, they can also um, access through the BSA our own help, um, because although we don't represent one particular school, we can if, if a parent says, I'm looking for a school that offers this, this and this, we can point them in the right direction. There's a list of all the schools in the UK on our website, and you can always um, uh, email me or any of my colleagues and we would help you in that way.